So in two weeks, less than two weeks actually, we have the Idaho primary. Does that say something about Idaho's position? Oh, it's all changed for Idaho. In, in the past, Idaho's vote didn't mean anything. We already knew who the candidate was going to be by the time we got around to voting. And now the, the candidates, hey, how many candidates have been here earlier? Jeb Bush has been here. Marco Rubio has been here a couple of times. Carly Fiorina has been here. Even Rand Paul was here. So yeah, Idaho's relevant for the first time in history. Idaho, Idaho is relevant in the presidential election. In speaking with you, I can tell you're passionate about this. Why are you so passionate about this, putting oh money and time and effort into this? Oh my gosh, if, if anybody's paying attention to what's happening to our country, and, and, and if you're paying attention, if you're not worried, then there's gotta be something wrong with you. America has kept the world safe, not just America safe, for decades since World War II. I mean, it was, it was America that fought the war and won the war. If it hadn't been for America, uh, you know, Hitler would have won. Uh, and, and, and since then, our, the, the strength, the power uh, uh, of America has been the thing that's kept all of these renegade countries from going over the dictators, going over the top. The fact that we existed and the fact that we might be there uh, to, to, to be, uh, you know, a, a proponent for peace and, and for the freedoms of people and the things that we believe in, um, I think is really important in this world. It's, a, it's appalling what people will go to for power and strength and for religion and all of that stuff. Um, we need America to be strong and we need what made us strong. We need the freedoms, we need the free enterprise, we need all the things that made America great. The, the, the American dream where the little guy can get ahead, that happened to me. I mean, uh, it's, it's, yeah, I'd like to see that happen to a lot of people. And, uh, and this idea of, of taking from the productive and giving to the non-productive, I think that's a dangerous way for us to go. It hasn't worked for any country yet, ever. It's a disaster when the countries do that. It's interesting. China's going the other way. They're getting into free enterprise. We're going the, we're going the opposite way. China's becoming the power, and our leaders are taking us in a different direction. If you're not worried about all of that stuff, then you're not watching. And you wonder how much more can this nation survive, the, the kind of debt we have and the amount of money we're spending, and what, what happens when America goes bankrupt. And I don't... I don't want Donald Trump to be there when that decision has to be made, I'll tell you that.